I was just saying that the officials are calling this a, an act of terrorism. They're saying that's clearly what it is, clearly not an accident. Uh, Arriving back at the firehouse, and Tony is still alone, and he has no clue of what to do. The Pentagon's on fucking fire? War. This is war. And just by listening to him, freaking out and swearing and, and behaving like I've never seen him behaving, Tony was expressing what we all felt. At that point, I saw the fireman in him taking over. I can't believe the fucking Pentagon. Somebody has balls. I mean, a few times he was just pulling his gear and about to rush to the door and realizing that he was the only one in charge of this empty firehouse. And going back to the house watch and looking again at, at those pictures on TV and just to make sure that it was real. We have these two enormous uh, explosions at the World Trade Center here Tony in New York. just wanted to go there. Let's Panicked go. employees evacuate by the thousands. The plane slices deep into the lower Pentagon when rescuers enter the building in search of more dead or possible injured. In a scene straight out of a war zone, F-16, scrambled by the National Guard, fly cover over the Pentagon in Washington, D.C. Real low, uh, proceed right on and crash right into the uh, Pentagon. Went directly into the Pentagon? Uh, that is correct. Looked like a deliberate act? A uh, deliberate act, sir. And can you tell me what direction it came from, Don? It came, it came from the south. Came from the south, up along the river, across the land? It came, it came from the south. Okay, and do, do, did you happen to look at your watch? To, we thought it was just a little bit before 10 o'clock. Well, I was watching ABC News, watching the uh, Twin Tower, uh, and, about the, and about the time I saw the plane, I watched it come in very low over the trees, and it just dipped down, came down right over 395, right into the Pentagon. And are you fairly sure that it was what we sometimes describe and recognize as a yes, small commuter plane? Uh, yes, it was. Good, Don. Thank you very much. Appreciate your help. You're Don, very I was in the traffic on the 14th Street Bridge, uh, right at the Pentagon, tied up going into town, and I heard this plane come over my head. It was really slow. What size plane? It was sounded like a small plane, but it was it was very very low. And the next thing I know, there was a tremendous explosion as it hit the Pentagon. I looked right, I looked over, and those the smoke started coming up. Pieces of the plane were, and pieces of the Pentagon were falling onto the 14th Street onto the Shirley Highway. This is a live picture. We're just getting here. This is the firefighters battling the blaze at, at the, the Pentagon. Pentagon. Look at that. So you can see the damage. This is just going to be raw tape that Dave Statter and his crew are, are just feeding, feeding into in. us. You can see this terrorist, apparent terrorist, terrorist attack. Terrorist. A jet slammed into the Pentagon about 15, 20 minutes ago, the helipad side on 395. We have no word yet on casualties. It'll take you a few seconds to put the wings equally. So, but but it, didn't one, seem, it didn't seem to you like that this was someone, this wasn't a pilot who was struggling for control of the aircraft. This is someone who was heading it right in there? Exactly. Yeah, it was planned to be that way. You, I, I, I'm stunned just listening to you say it. I can't imagine what it would have been like to actually have seen this take place. W what did you think had happened? Did you think the world had come to an end? Uh, that was my first feeling, and uh, I, was, I was thinking it was the last day of my life there. Yes. And just the way how I looked at the airplane uh, looked like the end or the rear of the airplane going to land it in my car. Hey, did you have any car. news radio on or anything? Were you yes, aware of what had taken place in New York? As a matter of fact, I was listening to the news at that time. And what they were talking about what had taken place They were talking about the uh, World, uh, World Trade Centers and... Uh, and then to have that right in front of your eye. It's unbelievable. Like I mentioned, it's something you just watch and see in the movies. Did, were you too far away to try to actually get out and help anybody? I mean, were you... I tried, actually, I, mean, that I, I did get out from the car, but yeah. was kind of... Uh, immediately, we saw a lot of uh, military police and police getting involved, and uh, we didn't know if they're going to have uh, other explosions or after the third one happened. You, you've had some hours now since that took place, as he's... Uh, tell, me, tell me what you're feeling now about this whole thing. I'm I mean, still nervous. I cannot believe my eyes that I saw that. What about the entire series of incidents is the big the upper floors later collapsed burying hopes any more survivors will be found alive 
leading a gaping black hole of destruction. What and size plane? It was a, for me, it looked like a big size plane. It was definitely a passenger plane. And everything just, everything shook. And then all of a sudden, you just heard this big explosion. What can you tell us about the plane itself? It was a Boeing uh, 757, American Airlines, no question. Uh, you say that there was a Boeing, and you say it was a 757 or 767. Seven, it's seven, hard. 757. 757, seven, yeah, which American of course Airlines. is one of, American Airlines, one yes, of the uh, new generation of jets. And of right. Course, it, uh, it, that it was side of the Pentagon, the plane went west to east hit the west side of the Pentagon, immediately flames uh, uh, were, were streaming up into the air, there was white smoke, and then within seconds, thick black smoke. Everybody got out of their cars, people were shocked, then the, and it made a beeline straight up into the sky and then angled off, and we weren't sure if that was going to come around and make another hit, or if it was just trying to get out of the way. That disappeared, and we didn't see it again. Dave and I are standing here, thanks to Heather Cabot, with Harry Gold, who was the Space Policy and Acquisition Division of DOD. You were on the fifth floor, That's and you, you saw this thing coming? I did. Tell, tell us what happened. Uh, we were just watching the World Trade Center on the Internet, and uh, I turned around, and I'm at a very large window, and I turned around and looked, and I, I saw the uh, silver uh, 757, it looked like to me, veering from the uh, registered course over the Potomac River, and it had no landing gear down, and it was coming very, very rapidly, and then it took a dive, uh, maybe a couple of miles, maybe over Roslyn, it took a dive into this building. And I saw it coming, and I hollered, hit the deck, and everybody in the office hit the deck because they knew that the World Trade Center was on fire. So The attacks appear over. The unspeakable deed done. And the next thing we saw, that airplane crash in the Pentagon. What did you do? Just, uh, we panicked, put my car in park, and squeezed my steering wheel and until we, uh, the crash was ending and uh, a kind of the Pentagon sucked in the airplane. So we didn't see any more parts or any pieces of the airplane. And a piece around. of the aircraft actually landed and broke your windshield, as I understand it. Uh, just landed by the car. And, uh, Unbelievable. This is one of uh, now, now, Aziz, in, in this situation that took place today, what did the other motorists do? I mean, did everybody stop their cars and get everybody out? Everybody stopped and they got out from them car and they started running left or right. And we had big panic at that time. Let me see this again. And this is uh, uh, just, it, it's, it, it's almost macabre to have a, a piece of, of... His name is Aziz El Halou. He uh, works right up the uh, street here from our studios here. And uh, you were headed to work this morning with your girlfriend. And tell us what you saw. Yes, sir. Uh, just at around 9... I sat in an intersection in South Arlington uh, waiting for a red light to change green, responding on a dispatch call. Uh, as I was looking at the traffic light through my window, uh, the plane that ultimately ended up here came through my field of vision, and I could tell uh, from its pitch and uh, its downward trend that it, it appeared it was going to crash.